So ceramics is one of the most important materials in the fixed prosthetics. And also ceramics got few different properties, such as physical properties, thermal properties, and optical properties. Today, among them, I'm just going to discuss a little bit about thermal properties, which is CTE. The CTE is a thermal property of a material that quantifies how much a material will expand when it is heated and contract when it cools. And liner coefficient is the change in the length per unit and length per degree Celsius. Another definition is the degree of expansion or contraction of a material in response of heating or cooling respectively. So basically, when the material was applied, is applied to the heat, they expand it. But when they cool down, they contract. So what is so important in our dental materials? Because in restorative in restorative materials are, depends on the temperature change in the mouth and differential expansion occur that may result in liquids of the oral fluid between the restoration and tooth. When you look at the, these tables, human teeth has 8 to 15 CTEs. When you move on to ceramic, very similar, 8 to 14, and move on to gold alloy, 12, 15. But when you look at the unfilled acrylics and sealant, they got 1,700. So there are a few different CTs in dental materials. So let's look at the next slide. The first two pictures are we call ceramic alloy restoration, also called PFM crowns. And the bottom picture is about all ceramic restorations. A material with a higher CTE expands larger amount and when heated, and also they contract larger amount when cooled. Because there are two different materials, the coefficient of thermal expansion is important when ceramic is bonded to alloy, either all ceramic or ceramic alloy restorations. So next slide is talking about the expansion of the alloys within two different materials. So expansion of the alloys or core of veneering ceramic must be appropriately matched or the ceramic will fracture when the restoration cools from the firing temperature to room temperature. So when you look at the, this diagram on the left half, if the CT is slightly higher than the CT of the vinegar, when they cool down to the room temperatures, the CT of the vineyards will be in, a, in compression strength. As you may know, the ceramic is quite strong in this compression strength. But when you look at the diagram on the right half, if the CT of the vineyard has higher value than CT of the substructures, when they cool down to the room temperatures, the veneer will be in tensile or tensile strength, which will be the cause of the fracture because ceramic is a very weak material in the tensile strength. So as a dental technicians, there are so many different materials available and complexity of the CTE it is recommended to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. 